start with some incredible claims from Amir Khan, who's cast fresh doubt over his defeat to Lamont Peterson last month. He's alleged that a mystery man may have interfered with the judge's scorecards during the fight. This is what Khan is so angry about. At the beginning of the fight, an unidentified man in a blue shirt and hat is sat down at ringside before being moved by the man with a red tie. WBA supervisor Michael Welsh, he then takes a seat in between Khan's father and Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, but look now, round two, the man has moved right next to Welsh, who's in charge of the judges' scorecards. Stayed there for the rest of the fight. Rules state nobody is allowed to speak to judges or commissioners during the fight. But the man in the hat is clearly having some interaction with Welsh at the start of the sixth round. Then a white slip, which Khan claims is a scorecard, is passed down the main judges' panel, appearing to come from the man who is now gesturing to all members of the panel. Again, this would be strictly against the rules. And at the start of round 11, he picks up a yellow slip before discussing something with Welsh. Uh, the three different judges have three different coloured scorecards, which would have been handed to the IBF, WBA and DC Commission. It all adds to the controversy. These are the official scorecards from the three judges, and these pictures led to accusations from Khan himself that he was unfairly docked two points and the judges' scorecards may have been tampered with. The IBF dismissed his claim, but the Khan camp are now demanding answers over the mystery man. There were one or two incidents where this individual came in. He came in round one, snuck in in front of himself and his father, Shah, sat in and then and pull the chair straight up to the table. We don't know who the official is. We've asked the question. We've written, we've written to uh, Washington, D.C., and we're still waiting for their response, and we've written to the IBF, and they've still not responded. So we're just asking for answers who he is, and you can see clearly on the pictures that he's handling uh, the slips in between rounds, and he's, and he's talking and liaising with the WBA official, Michael Walsh. He identified himself... Uh, as a IBF official. Now, there was no seat on the, the top tables for, for this individual. We don't know who he is. We've, we've asked the question. Obviously, the security is there. He said he was an IBF official. We already had a designated seat for the IBF official, which was taken up, and we don't know who this guy is. That's Michael Walsh from the WBA, and he, uh, he, he's got his seat there. He's the one that's uh, taking the slips off the DC Commission next to him. Uh, but the conversation between the WBA official and this uh, individual seems to be, throughout the fight, seems to be ongoing at all times. Um, we've not heard or seen of Michael Walsh since the fight. Golden Bar Promotions have tried to get some answers from the WBA. He gathers the, the, the scoring slip and then he transfers that information uh, onto a master scorecard which has the results written on. And is there any reason at all he should be speaking or would be speaking to somebody outside the judging panel? No, nope, there should be the WBA official, the IBF IBF official and the DC, the Washington DC Commission and that's it, the three people that should be involved in it. But this fourth person is clearly having discussions and, and, and pointing and we, we just need the answers and that's all we're asking for.